Now, one of Spain's tiny Canary Islands is on the verge of becoming the world's first carbon-free island by using only renewable energy and banning cars which use petrol. El Hierro is home to just 10,000 people and for more than a decade now, a team of scientists have been exploring ways of doing this. Now they think they have the answer. Ramon Goni reports. Walking from the volcanic beaches of the Yarrow to the hills next to the little town of Valverde, you can see a solitary wind turbine. Its giant arms are barely turning in the slight breeze. But soon, there will be five new wind turbines, which will supply El Yarrow's 10,000 residents with most of their electricity. Dr. Gonzalo Piernavieja is the scientist behind this. For almost uh, 10 years, I've been uh, working in this very ambitious project which aims at the energy self-sufficiency of this island by means of renewable energy resources. Now we are at the point that we are constructing all the components of the system and uh, we have to be prepared for the energy revolution that's beginning right now. Examples like El Hierro will uh, prove technologically that this is possible. By next year, 80% of the island's energy needs will be provided by the wind farm. There will also be a pipeline linking two artificial reservoirs serving as a backup hydroelectric plant. The wind farm will uh, consist of five windmills that will be placed between these uh, two hills. What we do is we store excess wind energy that cannot be used in a specific moment. So we use this excess wind energy to pump water to a Napa reservoir and when we need electricity and there is no wind, we can use this height and this waterfall to, pro to produce electricity even on a controlled way. An inactive volcano crater will serve as a gigantic natural battery to guarantee the power supply on days without wind. We climb inside it. This natural crater will be waterproofed and filled up with water that will be pumped from the lower reservoir with the help of the excess wind energy. The island's mayor is Tomás Padrón. It just so happened that I was the president of El Hierro Island and at the same time I worked at the energy company which supplies electric power to the island. We convinced the people by passing on the message, the data, the information, the project, and telling them that this was a reality. But not everyone is convinced. José Luis Hurtado lives near the beach a few kilometers from the town. His house is already powered by solar panels and a small wind turbine. There has been so much involved here. The political parties, the energy company, and such huge investment. But if people don't end up paying less for energy or getting it for free, I don't think this should have been done. Now, if the question is, you have clean energy here, do you think others should too? Then yes, of course I do, without any doubt. The U.S. government's Energy Information Authority says world oil demand will increase by 50 percent within the next 16 years and global energy consumption will rise by 32 percent. Dr. Pianavieja hopes his project will start an energy revolution. Islands can play a very important role as pioneers of the energy revolution. They are standalone systems. In this sense, El Hierro provides a solution for that. At the end of a busy day, fishermen and construction workers gather at a local bar to watch football on the television. For now, it's powered by electricity generated by fossil fuels from the mainland. But soon, this television will be powered by a windmill, solar panels and a hydroelectricity plant. That was Ramon Goni there, reporting there from the Spanish island of El Hierro.